Oh, that is thick. Welcome to Foundation Tested, where I am your guinea net inter pig internet guinea pig <laughs> and I test out foundations to see if they are worth the money. I give you updates throughout the day showing you what they look like on my skin so that you can figure out if you want to spend your money on them or not and if they will or won't work on yours. Today I am testing out the Too Faced stuff. They just launched this Do You foundation and this little banana powder exclusively at Ulta and these literally smell like they smell like candy from my childhood and they make me so happy. They are supposed to have a lot of interesting healthy ingredients in them, the price point is fair, and I want to test this out and see how it works throughout today. It is supposed to be a full coverage foundation. They launched 20 different shades and it's got 40 milliliters or 1.35 ounces, I believe. The price at $36 is pretty comparable and it actually has a bunch of skin loving ingredients in it. Again, it's supposed to be full coverage. It has vitamin C in it, which is great for anti-aging. It has some cucumber. It has a lot of beneficial and hydrating stuff in there. And the finish is supposed to be dewy. This isn't supposed to make you look oily, but it's supposed to give a nice fresh finish that lasts throughout the entire day. They claim that it's supposed to make you look absolutely absolutely perfect because it is infused with juicy watermelon and fresh cucumber and it actually smells like it. So we're going to see if that actually works or if it turns oily or if it turns cakey. Looking at the ingredients, the first one is water, the second one is dimethicone, so I can see where this would be very smoothing, but depending on what else is in there, the dimethicone could ball up or it could go on super smooth. Also outside of that, it does have a lot of great extracts, like they were saying it has vitamin C, we've got some watermelon, we've got some regular melon, we've got some cucumber, we've got some ginseng, um, we have a couple lysines. And a couple different oils that should not break out acne prone skin. I would be more worried about the dimethicone breaking out acne prone skin, but it's supposed to be super hydrating, long wearing, dewy finish, and brightening. So let's apply this and see how it goes. They recommend applying with a beauty blender or fingertips, so we're gonna do one half of the face with the beauty blender and one half with the fingertips. I also have the banana powder. It's super cute. It's $30 for 10.5 grams or 0.37 ounces, which is pretty good. When you open it up, it has this cute little banana and you're just like, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. It's got a really cute banana imprint. It literally smells so good. The thing about this is that it's supposed to set your makeup, but it's also supposed to be weightless. So like the foundation, you're not supposed to feel it on there. It also has kind of a yellow tint to it, which when comparing to the color wheel for anybody who has red or blemished undertones, this can really help neutralize and cancel out some of that redness. So. I could even see this potentially being a really good banana baking powder. The main ingredients are talc and maize or corn, so it's nice that it does have a natural component. Talc is hit or miss, um, but we are going to apply this to the face with a brush and we are going to see how this holds up. This complexion perfecting banana scented setting powder brightens while blurring imperfections and harsh lines for the most appealing photoshopped finish possible. Set your makeup to achieve the perfect, bright, smooth, soft focus look. So seeing as we are going to test this out to the max, let's get to the bare skin and start applying these different products and then see how they wear. Let's get fruity. I am in the shade Almond. I'm going to apply this half of my face with the Beauty Blender and this half with my finger dingers. And it actually has like a very pleasant fruity scent. It comes in a little pump form, which makes me think that there's an ingredient in here that can't be exposed to air or moisture. And let's start applying. Oh, that is thick. It does say it's supposed to be full coverage. As you can see, my skin is very red as compared to foundation, but I'm trying to match it to my neck so that that way I don't have to put foundation all over my freaking life. That's a very yellow color. It goes on pretty light, honestly, and it's starting to oxidize, which hopefully means it'll be my color. Um, it smells really nice, but I'm also wondering, this doesn't feel super full coverage. It feels like a medium coverage, but I wonder if we can blend it or build it. Let's find out. Um, we're also gonna see how this creases, so I'm gonna put it on my eye. So there's a big pimple that I have, and honestly, it's not covering the redness or the texture. But maybe we need a second layer. We will find out. There's another one. I mean, okay, that's one layer. Feels a little bit medium, yeah? I'm just going to try doing the other side with my fingers and see how this works. Um, it honestly, it goes on super thick but then it kind of oxidizes and it honestly shears down a lot. 
Usually I like putting fingertips as an applicator on my face better because it really melts products in. But this one, it feels almost a little bit greasy. I know it's supposed to be a dewy finish, but like I feel like it's medium coverage. I don't feel like this is a full coverage foundation. It does feel pretty darn weightless, however. It feels like a moisturizer more so than anything else. It's not sticking super well to this area on my cheek where I mildly exfoliated last night. Do you guys ever have that happen where you like exfoliate and then your products don't stick because there is no epidermal layer for your products to hold on to? Yeah, it sucks. I mean, I would definitely say it's dewy. Like it really does give a fresh glow. And the good thing is that it doesn't look oily. Um, oh well, I'm gonna let this sit for a minute and then we'll go into powder. Let's go bananas, 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 bananas. Little Kika honey, Darazi. Oh, this is actually really cute. It smells, smells like a mix of baby powder and bananas. It actually smells, oh, you, did you ever eat runts as a kid, those little candies? That's the kind of banana this smells like. It's a powder that's supposed to last all day. It's supposed to feel lightweight. I have myself a little mermaid brush and I'm just gonna pat this on. Um, it's not meant to be like a super mattifying powder or a super full coverage powder. It's supposed to be super lightweight. So I like that it takes down a little bit, but it doesn't ruin the finish of the foundation. Because honestly, sometimes if you apply a dewy foundation uh, along with a powder, the powder just ruins the dewiness of the foundation and you're like, well, why did I pay money for this? Like, what did I just spend 30 minutes in the mirror doing? But this is nice because it actually feels like they actually work together. The whole thing about this banana powder is that it's supposed to be a slight yellow and I like that because I have very red acne prone skin and if you use yellow based products they cancel out red really well. So I feel like this has cancelled out my red really well. Um, it's just not super good at covering blemishes or texture so I wouldn't say it's full coverage but let's continue to try. This powder is fun. This powder is effective, it's fresh, it's got a little banana in it. But that's what we're looking at. Again, the color is okay. Um, a little bit of beef with the textural coverage. Mm, I wouldn't call this full coverage. I would say it feels more like a tinted moisturizer. They both feel very lightweight on the skin. Like I literally actually don't feel like I'm wearing anything. It's not sticky. It's not greasy either, which is nice. That's what we're looking at. It actually looks pretty darn good. So I'm going to get to doing the rest of my makeup and then we're going to skedaddle on to our day. Makeup, get on my face. Makeup is applied. Isn't that cool? Used a whole bunch of makeup products. A lot of them are sparkly and glittery and empowering like this lipstick. The color is I am confident and I'm like, yes, I subscribe to this. <laughs> One thing that I did notice is that I can totally see all of my scars through this that I'm not super fanning about. Um, and also, like, when I was applying my blush and everything, I kind of felt like it had the potential to move the foundation, which I was worried about. I want it to stay in place. And I guess because it does keep, like, a dewy consistency, that it's a little bit more prone to moving because it never dries fully matte. But it's not coming off on my hand, which is good. There's no transfer. I'm just, like... So it's been about 45 minutes, and I have to say, this is definitely a dewy foundation. It's nice, it's got a little bit of dew, it's kind of peeking through the powder. I would call this medium coverage, and it feels like a tinted moisturizer. So that's where we're at. I am going to get on with my day. Throughout the different things that I'm doing today, I'm gonna to have the chance to meet a lot of people. And something I really wanna get out of today is feeling inspired. Um, I've been working myself so hard recently that I haven't had time to just sit and be creative, and I want to get inspired today going to a sustainable fashion show this afternoon for New York Fashion Week, which should be interesting. I'm actually speaking at LIM College of Fashion um, about branding and my experience in the industry. But I want to be inspired and I want to learn something today. And I want to use that to kind of get back to my creative self. So that being said, I need some snacks. Let's go take on New York City. For my outfit of the day, I am wearing this dress, but I actually want to put a shirt over it to make it more casual and look. I have a pineapple shirt that matches the pineapple palette that I put on my eyes. Am I extra or am I extra? <laughs> yes! At least it's a sustainable t-shirt and it feels comfortable and it makes me look cute. Welcome to my OOTD. My name is Cassandra Banks. Guys, look, I have friends! 
This is Erica, this is Sammy Joe, and little do you know, I literally just did makeup in the back of a college <laughs> break room for teachers. She going to the airport, woo! talking about confidence and about how people treat us different or not different with makeup. Oh my god, you're so cute. Isn't it strange though? Speeches like that that really get me excited, that really make me feel invigorated because most of these students are trying to work in fashion and beauty, but they're trying to pull that deeper meaning out and they're trying to really get to the bottom of what makes people feel empowered and, and knowing that I might be able to help them or give them some motivation and push them along their way just makes me so happy. Also skin update, this has been on for four hours. We're in the middle of the city and it is a little bit humid today. I feel dewy but not oily, which is actually really nice and I was hoping that this wouldn't crease up actually not creasing up that bad which I am impressed by because it is talc and it was kind of a thicker formula so this is where we're at let's go to the office and do YouTube things okay so remember how I was saying that I wanted to feel inspired today and I like I wanted to move forward towards something bigger I just got the most amazing email so Madeline Stewart is a model with Down syndrome and she's here for New York Fashion Week I respected her for so long ever since I saw her walk style fashion week a couple years ago she's basically a model with Down syndrome who's really making waves in the industry and I am praying trying grasping that I might be able to interview her today her schedule is crazy she's off to London Fashion Week in like a day but I am trying to bend my schedule and apparently this thing of peanut butter to meet her and to be able to interview her and to kind of bring her story to light in kind of a different way in models making moves and like making industry changes so fingers crossed ah I'm gonna do this editing, but I really, really, really hope this works out. Working on the editing, working on the smacks. Does anybody else just do this with almond butter? It's not just me, right? I use it like an artichoke. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Why I'm running! Let's hope I don't run anybody over. I'm so excited! Running and running and running. And sometimes I get asked in interviews, but are you worried that brands are exploiting her? And my answer is always this. Two type of people will come to us. Those that just want to use the Down syndrome side of things and to get their word out there and get the viral aspect or something. And those people actually connect with disabilities and want to use it as a beautiful thing. It's officially 6 p.m. and it has started to rain, so I took off my shirt to protect my laptop and camera. That's dedication, and I want to give you a skin update. I feel oily. Like, I feel oilier than hell. I'm gonna stand to the side here. It literally looks like my face is a grease bucket, and on my nose, it seems like wherever I have these pores, the tinted moisturizer or the foundation, like, settled in like a tinted moisturizer would. So, once I kind of dry off, I'm gonna see how it goes, because I feel like it could be the humidity and the weather here, and I'm I mean, it is dewy and that combined with my oily skin is probably not such a good look and maybe I applied too much highlighter but here's where I applied no highlighter and you can still see a lot of shine this is 6 p.m. how long has this been on six like 10 hours so I can see kind of how that's working out but we're gonna have to do an update later because I am running into an eco sustainable fashion show that empowers women in other countries and I am more excited about that and food than I am my face
so it's officially been 12 hours. You just gotta see this oil. It could be the heat, but honestly, this feels like a tinted moisturizer. I'm in the lobby of a hotel because we're actually gonna go get dinner with Madeline and her mom, which is gonna be so fun. Yeah, this is the situation. I look like a grease bucket, even here. See how it goes. You've made amazing headway standing up for people who, like you, might associate or identify with having a disability, and even just people who are short or people who feel different. And I think that that's so beautiful. What was life like before modeling? And we don't watch television, so we don't turn the TV on really either. Me neither. And um, I'd never taken her to a catwalk. I took her to her first catwalk when she was 17. And the minute she walked in the room, she told me she was wanted to be a model. She turned to me and she said, Mom, me model. And so that moment, do you know why that sparked such a passion for you or why you were so excited about modeling? Was there something about it? Was it creative or you just liked it? Was it because all the girls on the catwalk were the center of attention? and you wanted to be the center of attention? Yeah. 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 That's what I thought. <laughs> At least you're honest about it. I'm gonna ask one of the harder questions because this is an industry that's based a lot on image. What are some of the stereotypes or injustices that you guys have been put up against and how have you guys overcome those? So I think the biggest injustice is in an elevator, it's 11 p.m. I've been indoors, but I just want to show you. Don't believe this is a foundation meant for oily prone skin. That's this lighting. Let's get home and look at this in the real camera. It is officially 1216, so I have had this on my face all day. And I want to show you an end of the day update because I am literally a grease bucket. You could literally fry french fries on my face. Zooming us in here. God, you had the longest day. Yeah, do you see the oil on my forehead? My face is literally so oily. Like I know the weather was a little bit humid, I know that I naturally have oily skin, and I know this is meant to be a dewy product, but this is a dewy product. And I'm gonna be totally honest, I love Too Faced Cosmetics. Cruelty-free, vegan, one of my favorite lines. Always innovating, always breaking the barriers, especially with their colors. But this missed the mark. This is not a full coverage foundation. This is a tinted moisturizer. Um, it is a nice tinted moisturizer because it went on really smooth, but throughout the day, I feel like it did lose coverage and then anywhere that I had larger pores or like pores, it just kind of settled in and like the coverageness came off. I don't have lines, which is nice. It's definitely dewy, but like I am a grease bucket. Like, let me show you with the cell phone light. It is literally the back of an in and out over here. That is like a grease bucket and a half. Like I'm even greasy here. Look at me, I'm blinding the haters with just my oil slick reflection. <laughs> nope, didn't apply too much highlight. This is just the oil of my face. Oh my God, there's a naked mannequin in the background. <laughs> and I know it's meant to be a dewy foundation. If you do have oily prone skin, don't even get near it. If you have dry skin, I could see this being a great product because it does add that dew and it gives you that shine. But for me, this is a no-go. If you have the money, go for it, especially if you have dry skin and you're looking for like a tinted moisturizer that works, you know, for a light coverage. But if you need full coverage, if you have oily skin, this is not going to work for you. How do I feel about the powder? The powder was something I was super impressed by. The pricing for $30 was okay. It's basically talc and a little bit of corn. I liked the powder and I liked the color of the powder too because it was like a yellow powder which really helped to cancel out my redness. But I feel like with the foundation by the end of the day, like even though the powder felt weightless, there's nothing I can do about it. And the foundation felt weightless at first, but like past hour six, I could just like feel it on my face. So that's essentially how the day went. That is my face. I hate, you know, not being able to love this product. This is one that I really wanted to love. Like I wanted this to kind of be my next go-to because it had so many beneficial ingredients in it. But I'm going to be honest, like look at this. Even my mascara is coming off up here because of how much oil there is on my face. Hello, my name is Oil, but you can call me Slick. How are you? <laughs> Outside of that though, I... Wow, did I meet my goal today. I was telling you earlier that I was kind of feeling uninspired by like fashion week and like wondering what my purpose is and like all week I've been going through this just kind of wondering what's like the next step? Like I've gotten comfortable and I'm trying to break through barriers and as a model I recognize that 
anything that I model for, I'm representing. And I'm, I'm beyond that, you know what I mean? I want to stand up for something bigger than myself. And I really wanted to feel inspired by other people today. And who would have known that out of the blue, I get this email. I get to meet somebody that I have looked up to. I really get to learn about Down syndrome in, you know, a very visceral, emotional, raw way. I get to experience being within the presence of somebody who loves this so much and loves the breaking barriers aspect of what they are doing. It just, this, it, it brought me back to like walking the runway with acne and feeling like somebody was standing up for me. Like that, I feel like she stood up for me. Um, you know, like hearing her story and being able to connect, like, and being able to connect on like a human emotional level. You know, I learned so much about Down syndrome as a condition and like, even though someone is so intelligent because they cannot express that through speech. Like, I can't imagine how hard that would be to not be able to say how you're truly feeling or to say what you understand. Um, and being able to communicate with somebody who goes through that was really eye-opening for me. Um, but it's something that I, I, I can't wait to watch her grow. Like, I really hope that I can continue to follow her and be inspired by her and learn from her. Um, and definitely everything that she's doing to make this world more inclusive. Because, like, if one in five of us knows someone with a disability and one in seven of us has a disability, that should be reflected on runways. Just the way that race and hair type and gender and religion should be reflected, like... The fashion industry is changing and it's only going forward and if I can help facilitate that or if I can just watch and bask in that beauty that is what I want to do so I hope you had a good day coming around the city with me um, tell me if you like these vlogs and what you want more of and what you want less of uh, because the more you give me constructive criticism the better I can be and the more I can grow and if you know of any model or anyone who's really breaking down barriers when it comes to beauty and image and the way we present ourselves please let me know um, how I can get in contact with them because I want to be inspired and I want to share those kind of messages with the rest of the world that's truly what makes Makes me happy. But this is my grease bucket face. My grease bucket face is feeling very happy and fulfilled and the best part of the day. I don't have to wait to take off my eye. Oh, my eyelashes. I am gonna jump in that shower right now. Uh, I'm gonna wake up at probably again five or six in the morning to get going. Uh, really exciting day tomorrow too. But yeah, I love you. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Um, Give this video a like if you liked it. If you didn't like it, then you can give it a dislike. Or you could give it a like even if you just liked it and just want to be nice. If you want more of these videos, I have tested other foundations that did not end up this oily. You can check out my foundation tested series to see what else worked for me. And if you have a foundation that you want me to test, post it in a comment below. Let me know what I should spend my money on and put on my face so that you don't have to. I love you to pieces. Always remember to be beautiful and stand up for what you believe in. Because when you stand up for yourself, you stand up for a hundred other people who feel the exact same way that you do and just haven't been able to speak up about it. I love you so much and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.